Pretty much everybody out there wants to live longer, live better, and extend life. If we can live a longer life and have a higher quality of life, then you know why wouldn't you want to do that? So we want to look at how can we do this. So whether you're an athlete who wants to maintain your performance over the you know rest of your life and you don't want to get slower as you age or get weaker as you age, or you're just a normal person who wants to be able to see your grandkids grow up and be able to run around in the in the yard with them and all that then we need to think about ways that we can modify our life and our daily habits so that we can live as long as possible, maintain a good quality of life as we age, and overall prevent the aging process as best as we can. One thing that's important in the aging process is telomere length. So a telomere is a portion of repetitive DNA sequences that sit at the end of a chromosome, and you can sort of think of these as instructions which inform the body how to replicate cells. And if the instructions get messed up, then obviously the cells that are produced from that replication process are not going to be as effective or as healthy as they could otherwise be. So we want to find ways that we can maintain telomere length throughout our life so we can prevent aging, live longer, and maintain a better quality of life as we get older. According to Frontiers in Genetics, telomere shortening is a hallmark of cell senescence and the aging of organisms. Senescence is a process where the life cycle of a cell is halted. Uh, this can be good if you have a cancer cell that needs to die off, but for healthier cells, when they go into senescence and then they you know, either replicate or they just sit around in this sort of broken down, unhealthy form, then that can cause negative things in your body to occur. While many factors are at play, preventing the shortening of telomeres and keeping our telomeres long is one way that we can prevent aging. So we need to ask ourselves, how can we maintain the length of our telomeres over time? Well, one way we can do that, possibly, is through sprinting. A group of Brazilian scientists looked at a group of master sprinters compared to a control group of non-sprinters, and they were aged from 40 to 70 years old, and they'd been active for at least 10 years. And looking at the two groups, the sprinters showed significantly longer telomeres than the control group. And interestingly, the fastest master sprinters that they looked at had the longest telomeres. So the sprinters with longer telomeres showed a smaller reduction in sprinting performance as their ages increased. And taken together, this suggests that there's a relationship between telomere length, sprinting ability, and the aging process. The researchers admit they don't know the causal relationship between telomere length and sprinting performance, uh, but they did state that the results of the study do indicate that high intensity training, such as in the form of sprinting, does have a beneficial effect at the biomolecular level. They suggest that high intensity training like sprinting should be performed by adults and older adults as a way to mitigate aging. I found this one quote particularly interesting. Telomere length may be pivotal not only as a marker of health status as previously described, but also as a predictor of sports performance and longevity of master sprinters, with a higher telomere length being associated with a better actual performance level, while a shorter telomere length was associated with a higher rate of performance decline per decade. So basically, the longer the telomeres are within these sprinters, the faster that they're going to be, and the faster or the better able they're able to maintain their speed throughout the time as they age, whereas the athletes with shorter telomeres showed a greater decline in sprinting performance as they got older. So even if you're a 30 year old sprinter like myself and you're looking at trying to maintain your speed as you get older, you know, finding ways to maintain telomere length is something that may be able to improve or at least maintain your sprinting performance as you get older or other types of athletic performance. So not only is telomere length important for maintaining a healthy life and age, a good aging process as we get older, but it might also help our performance. So if we can perform sprint training, do it in an intelligent way, and maintain telomere length through that, then that's a great reason to sprint. Whether you're a sprinter or just someone who exercises, you might want to consider how incorporating sprinting into your program could help allow you to age better and age at a less rapid rate and maintain good you know, performance related physical qualities as you get older. Now outside of exercise and obviously a healthy diet, there are supplements that we can take which may play a role in preventing aging. Now the first one that we're going to talk about is NMN or nicotinamide mononucleotide. This was popularized by David Sinclair. He's got a nice book you can read on anti-aging. But basically it's a supplement that it helps increase NAD levels in the body. Um, NAD is a coenzyme that is central to metabolic function helps give you energy from the food you eat and also prevents DNA damage and promotes healthy cellular function. One study was performed which looked at the effects of short-term supplementation of NMN on metabolism, the microbiome, and telomere length, both in mice at a pre-aging phase of life and middle-aged adult humans. 
NMN was shown to modify the microbiome in the study participants, but more interesting was the fact that NMN supplementation was associated with longer telomeres, and according to the researchers, NMN could actually increase the length of telomeres. So these effects were present within 30 days for humans and within 40 days for mice. They were quoted as saying, Further, we observed longer telomeres in both mice and volunteers with NMN supplementation and reported for the first time that NMN could elongate the length of telomeres in a clinical study, suggesting the potential of NMN use at a pre-aging phase to retard the proceeding of aging. So the idea here is you can take NMN, you can help increase the length of your telomeres, and you can do this prior to when you start aging. So maybe you're 30 years old, 40 years old, and yeah, you're getting older, but you haven't really seen the major effects of the aging process yet. That might be a great time to start taking something like NMN to help maintain the, that telomere length. And then if you pair that with something like sprinting, which is shown to help maintain telomere length, then you might have a nice one-two punch to prevent aging, to live longer, to extend your life, and have a better quality of life as you age. Also, if you're a sprinter and you compete competitively, if there is a causal relationship, which we don't know, but if there is a causal relationship between telomere length and sprinting performance, maybe taking NMN can help at least, you know, help you maintain your sprinting abilities as you get older because it's going to help elongate telomeres just like sprinting will. Now the other supplement we'll briefly talk about is resveratrol. It's been studied quite a bit um, and has been shown to extend life in mice as well as having beneficial effects on cardiovascular health preventing sarcopenia, which is age-related muscle loss, inhibiting inflammation, uh, a bunch of other things, improves mitochondrial function. One of the things that resveratrol does is it sort of mimics the effects that calorie restriction and exercise have on the body. So resveratrol might be good for someone who doesn't exercise as much as they would like to. Maybe they have a really busy job. You can only exercise once or twice a week. Well, resveratrol can help promote those effects a little bit more in the absence of exercise can also sort of help with the effects that you get from calorie restriction. Resveratrol can have some similar effects. So maybe combining resveratrol with calorie restriction and with some exercise is something that you can do. Uh, it's much cheaper than NMN. You might have to, you know, if you have kidney issues, you might want to look into that because there is some research that suggests chronic intake of resveratrol can affect your kidneys. Um, but that's not, there's not super strong evidence for that. It's just something that you might want to know. Um, the other thing to know about resveratrol is if you're a competitive athlete, you might not want to take resveratrol around an intense workout because it can sort of tone down the response your body has to it because if you're taking resveratrol, which creates certain signaling within the body, um, you know, that might counteract the signaling that's going on from the exercise. And if you're a competitive athlete, obviously you need to train harder than someone who is just, you know, working out for fitness or, or general health. So if you're a competitive athlete, you might want to stick to the NMN side of things and not take resveratrol or only take resveratrol on your off days or your more low intensity types of training days. So that way you're not you know, inhibiting any recovery processes there or any adaptations uh, to exercise. Resveratrol has also been shown to extend life and longevity in yeast, fruit flies, and mice. In primates, it's shown to protect against um, you know, the negative effects on the cardiovascular system that come from eating a high fat or high sugar diet. And it's also been shown to help with the effects, um, the cognitive decline that you see in Alzheimer's, resveratrol can help prevent those effects. So I think ultimately, you know, if you want to live longer, enjoy a better quality of life as you age, we need to treat our bodies right, we need to eat healthy, we need to calorie restrict at times, so not eat so much, <laughs> maybe take breaks from eating. Uh, we need to only eat as much as we need, and that's going to depend on how active you are. Um, we should exercise, we should do high intensity exercise like sprinting, weightlifting, things like that. Um, and we can also consider taking supplements like NMN or resveratrol. And I think if we take a holistic approach where we try to train in a way that's good for our bodies, eat in a way that's good for our bodies, and then take supplements that help promote things like telomere length, then we're going to have our best shot of aging at the lowest rate possible, being able to maintain a good quality of life as we age, and possibly even extend our lifespan.